Life is not so easy. Life is a lot of uh, obstacles. You must, I mean, try to fight for it. Hello, my name is Sun Pui Kiao. I'm the second generation of Spring Cup Restaurant. Spring Cup Restaurant is an oldest restaurant in Singapore. We provide Singaporean Chinese traditional cooking. If you really want to try those uh, old dishes, I think Spring Cup is the best place. It's found in 1929. Uh, it was run by my father-in-law. He enjoyed food very much. Sometimes just invented some dishes. First nest, uh, stuffed with uh, double boiled chicken, the cream egg with the salted egg. All these are very, very old. Actually, it was done by him. And he just trying to run a restaurant in Great World Amusement Park. During the time, we wouldn't call it a spring cup restaurant. I mean, olden days, we call it as Win Chun Yu. At that time, the business was very, very good, especially in the 50s. All this high-class society, Come to the Spring Cup restaurant, they enjoy it so much. During the time, unless you are really affordable, otherwise, there's no way for you to try the food there. The food there, during the time, the food is very, very good because my father is so particular with the food and it's very strict also. Last time, the workers, they always listen to the boss. If you're not doing perfect, then he will go immediately stop, ask you to pack your belongings and then go back. Yeah, because we want to make sure everything is perfect. It's fine. The first one is the double boy bird's nest stuffed in chicken. This one is very authentic. Last time when we were at the we were amusement park that time, this dish was already very popular. People who can afford sure they will order dish. Today we cost it as a three hundred and ninety eight. Uh, last time it could be $80 or $70. Not easy to prepare. You necessarily need to be very skillful because we put a lot of bird's nest, stuff it into the chicken and with the superior shirt and, and double boy. I think this dish is very old, 60, 70 years. But people who, who know the spring pork well, they know this dish is very popular because it's tasty. And the other thing is very nutritious. If you're not skillful, really cannot prepare. It's my favourite dish. In 1960, the business becomes not so good as before already. The first thing is many restaurants came out already, from Hong Kong or from others, and then the new places, they got aircon, everything. During in 50, you still don't have aircon. Even you want to renovate, also no way, because the Great World Amusement Park is belonging to Shaw Brothers. The Shaw Brothers, they kept on saying, the Great World Amusement Park is going to demolish, of course, Wing Chun is the same. In 1977, the Shaw Brothers has already confirmed it's going to demolish. And my father is also very sad, of course. Uh, he, he's an old man already, 17 something already. Nobody wants to take over. Some they get sick of this business already. I was thinking quite pitiful because, yes, it had been uh, running for about 40 over years. I was thinking, uh, no harm trying because they're young. We just moved it to the rental theatre at the New Bridge Road. At the time, we changed the name as a Spring Court Restaurant instead of Wing Chun Yi. They're easier to remember. After we moved to Upper East Coast Road, the business uh, earlier was not so bad. Well, something happened with the family, with my husband. Uh, he wants to quit the business, wants to close the business. So this business is belong to your parents. I was also not interested. Nobody is going to run. Later I was thinking, it's also very wasted. I've been trying 20 over years. I was thinking, I must well, I just try to continue. But all my family, my friends, even my accountant, they all advised me not to take the restaurant because the business is no good. I was thinking, I'm so sad. Everyone advised me not to do, but I still find it's wasted. You know, I want to try. I want to make sure I can do the business well. Uh, at that time, I was very determined already. And since uh, 1990, 93, 94, uh, everything run by myself. I think about a, a few months or a year, business very, very bad. Sometimes the business is terrible. <laughs> it's because of the financial crisis. But I'm still thinking, oh, it doesn't matter. I still want to fight. I still want to make sure I can conquer this uh, very bad situation. The rooster chicken was selling about twenty over dollars. It's a market price. Then I was thinking I must well make it very, very, very cheap. If you want to cheap, you must cheap until at the bottom. That's why I just try to make it one dollar. People they all surprised. 
how can sprinkle the restaurant the chicken is one dollar roasted chicken is a is the same as before original one uh, they all will come here queue up try the roasted chicken but when you try the roasted chicken of course you will try other dishes right the queue and uh, I think about 50 meters uh, I was very happy during the time in Singapore we have so many kinds of uh, races. The food culture will slowly, slowly change. That's why now we become a Singaporean Chinese traditional cuisine. We want to keep the original taste. That's why we cannot anyhow change. Like Pupia, I say, oh, since I have my mother during the olden days, once we prepare the Pupia, it means it's a very big occasion. That's why we prepare the Pupia. That's why we want to bring back the uh, olden days, the taste, and we can uh, bring back the food culture. And then you can know olden days how was our, our parents, how was their life, and the way they eat is different. But today's the youngsters don't know. My mission is just trying to promote traditional Singaporean Chinese cuisine to the younger generations. We are very grateful to all our customers. So how old is the restaurant this year? 90. 90 is an oldest restaurant in Singapore.